Hi mates, I'm Xcub, and today we are mixing it up a little, spicing the content up. You see, it isn't so long ago that I myself just started YouTube, and my god, I remember the struggle. Actually, I spent 20 hours uploading some of my first videos. 20 freaking hours, and I'm, I'm really not kidding. Of course, there were some crashes and restarts involved, but you get the picture. Following just one of these guidelines was enough to solve my problems, so here are three best and simple ways to improve your uploading. Let's keep it short and sweet. Coming at number 3. Your internet. Well, this didn't come as a surprise, didn't it? But there are a couple points that are good to be stressed. Did you know that your connection has different sections for different features of your internet? As you can see from the footage, there are three of them in total. Ping basically tells how quickly internet can receive commands from you and how fast it can return information in change, especially crucial in video games. Download speed indicates how effectively you can pull data from server to you, or simply just how fast you can download stuff from internet. Upload speed is the thing you wanna be aware of. Usually systems come with significantly more download than upload speed, because downloading is more commonly used feature. For example, my previous connection had a decent of 10 download speed, but only pathetic 0.2 upload. Well, at least that explained a lot. Other things to note are that Ethernet, that is, internet plugged by a cable, is more stable than wireless network, and if you want to play it safe and avoid any cuts in your connection, that might be a go for for you. Although, that can require some setting up. Also, if you have strong internet on your phone, you can rather share it for your computer or just use the phone as a device to upload. Secondly, file size. Obviously, if video takes up a lot of space, it takes more time to crawl its way to YouTube. Here you can see me uploading same video with original and compressed file sizes. And as you can see, less is more in this case. This little trick can be made by a free program called Handbrake, as many of you may already have heard of it. If you want it, there's a download link in the description. What this program does is that it compresses space that video needs by about 90% without actual quality loss. You can find video teaching best settings for this from description below. And as number one. File freaking format. This is the thing that took me so long to realize, though it would have helped me the most. Currently on the screen you can see different file formats. YouTube only supports MP3 and ACC for audio and MP4 for video. If you try to stuff anything else down to his throat, it's just gonna take forever to buy it. In action you can spot that the same video, other with matching formats and other without, can take significantly varying times. I use program called DaVinci Resolve for editing my videos, and in my opinion it's the best free video editor out there. But it has one big flaw, it can't export in MP4. If because of this or other reasons your video can't be exported as MP4, there is this program that I use called Any Video Converter. Its user interface doesn't look really appealing and it's full of advertisements, but it still does its job and has been totally virus free. Download link can be found from the description below. Currently, I have upgraded my internet for 100 megabytes of download speed and to total of 10 megabytes of upload speed. But even back with my old network, after I started to convert my videos to MP4, my videos hit YouTube in reasonable time, and nowadays just in few minutes. Keep your eye on some of these things and you are guaranteed to have a lot easier time with uploading. If you liked the video, or would like me to cover something else by a tutorial, don't be afraid to let me know. Whatever the case, thanks for stopping by, take it easy, and until the next one, I'll see you all soonest.